All right, good morning, afternoon or evening everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the tier 10 cruiser, the Puerto Rico. Of course, as we know, Puerto Rico has been in the game for quite a while now, but it's being re-added or re-released in a new dockyard. As you know, of course, Puerto Rico was originally released in a dockyard. It was the first dockyard in World of Warships. Of course, that came with a lot of drama and beef and whatever. But now we have a different style of dockyard. Of course, missions were changed, things like this were changed. And of course, the only thing that really hasn't changed is the ship, right? The ship is basically the exact same ship, except you can't, you know, of course, Puerto Rico has gone through the commander skill rework and you can't run fire prevention anymore on Puerto Rico. Same thing with, for example, Stalingrad or ships like that that burn for 60 seconds, four fires, and they're not able to run fire prevention. But anyway, I think we should start off with the armor layout for the Puerto Rico here. We have 27 millimeter nose armor. 30mm uh, side armor and a 38mm deck and then we also have 27mm aft there you go and then if we take a look at the citadel which is what most people are probably interested in because they've heard a lot about this is the citadel is underwater yes it is very hard to hit it's almost impossible to hit unless the ship is turning left and right exposing itself exposing its citadel if it's turning left and right it can expose its citadel um, to enemy fire for example if the shell is coming like this like look at my mouse right now for example the shell is coming in like this and the ship is angled showing it's you know sit a little bit more um, shells will just go straight in and they can yes they can citadel you people who say it's impossible to citadel puerto rico are pretty much incorrect you definitely can if the puerto rico is turning for example but anyway let's move over to the commander i'm running grease the gears Gun feeder, priority target, superintendent, survivability expert, concealment expert, adrenaline rush, and top grade gunner. In terms of my equipment, I'm running main battery mod 3, concealment system mod 1, prop mod 1, aiming system mod 1, hydro search mod 1, and main armaments mod 1. And I'm going to be running the radar and the hydro for the consumables. In terms of the commander build, some of you might be wondering why I'm not running heavy AP over SC, for example. I think SC is fine to have, honestly, and mostly it's really and truly to share the build with the Des Moines, because, for example, if I go on Des Moines here, click this, it's the same exact build, I can share it. It's the same exact build on Salem, I can share it. It's the same build, you know, on those cruisers, and I can use the exact same build on Alaska and Tulsa, and all of this, and I don't have to respect, which is really nice. Um, in terms of the dockyard event, I think we should talk about how to actually obtain the Puerto Rico at the end of the video. So I think we should just, oh, talk about the camo first, of course, and then talk about the game. Of course, play the game, of course. So here is the perma, ca the perma camo for the Puerto Rico here, as you can see. Very nice American camo. You also have an alternate, which is also pretty nice, I think. Um, personally, I prefer the normal colors. In terms of this one, this one... This camo is only for people who had Puerto Rico before, obviously. If you're getting it now for the first time ever, you're... I don't... No, you're not... You're definitely not going to be able to get this camouflage anymore. There's a different camouflage you can get for grinding the Puerto Rico in the um, dockyard event. Um, but there's steel Puerto. I'm not going to put it on Puerto Rico, of course, because I want to save the steel camo for something else. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's the... That's the looks of the ship. I think we should go into a game and talk about the ship a bit more. Alright, so actually, I actually have this camo. I, I just got given it. So I'm gonna add this part to the video with the camo section. I just wanted to show you the new camo. For those of you who are wondering, this is the new camo, I guess. Um, you have a little, like, Puerto Rico thing. 1943 ceremonial, c ceremonial written on it. Sorry. It has a frog or something or a toad. It's a frog. There you go. It has Puerto Rico written on the back, of course. No sailors, unlike normal dockyard ones, but it is what it is. This is the Puerto Rico current dockyard camel, which you're gonna get, plus, of course, uh, the normal one. You won't be getting the, the national. Uh, you'll be getting the ceremonial, let's go. So, yeah, so this is the camel. I just wanted to put this into the video as well, um, just, you know, so I don't miss anything. But there you go. All right, so here we are on Two Brothers Standard Battle. Interesting. Standard Battle on Two Brothers. I haven't seen this in 10 years. Actually, I haven't seen this at Tier 10 in 10 years. 
happened quite a fair amount in, in low tier. But anyway, so here is the Puerto Rico, as you can see, 19.4 second reload, 18.8 kilometer gun range, HE, HE shell penetration is 51 millimeters, just because the gun caliber is 305, and you have a 29% fire chance, which is actually pretty good. Um, it's honestly pretty good with 12 guns. Um, of course, um, we have radar, 10 kilometer. It's not too useful, to be honest. Um, of course, sometimes it can be useful, but most of the time, because your concealment is so bad, it's not really that useful. But yeah, so some of you are probably wondering in the comments, you're like, oh my god, what's this? And I'm like, you know? And you guys are like, this camera? Question mark. So this is the new camera, of course, as we know. Um, you can adjust it as you wish. I So far, I've chosen this camera setting. I feel like this is a very nice camera setting, to be honest, for me. Um, I feel like I can look at my entire ship and uh, whatever. I'm just going to show you the camera setting. I'm running. I'm running um, minus 7 camera height and a maximum FOV. That's what I'm running. I feel like, for me, so far, I haven't played too many in it. I played it in Harugumo, and it, it definitely fits Harugumo very well, this camera, and it seems like it fits Puerto Rico. And I've also played Sevastopol, and this camera is fine with Sevastopol too. I just have to try it on a battleship. If I try it on all those, I feel like I'm fairly confident that this is the setting I want to roll with. But uh, we'll see. So anyway, the Puerto Rico, I think we should get back on topic. Of course, as you know, it is a dockyard ship now. Of course, it was originally, and it is again. Um, I don't want to shoot here because... There's a Satsuma right there. If I shoot and I die instantly, I'm gonna die IRL or something. I'm joking, of course, but I'll pa I'll have a panic attack or something. I'm spotted! So I'm gonna start opening up anyway. Um, we don't have to Hydro yet. We're gonna delay it a tiny bit, of course. We're gonna load AP here. Oh, God. Annapolis, hello. Two super sheeps versus Puerto Rico. Let's try to slow down here. Maybe dodge a Satsuma Salvo. Ugh. All right, only 5k, perfect. We have AP loaded, because we switched. And we're going to try to use it on that. Of course, as you know, Puerto Rico has improved AP, such as um, Alaska. If you have an Alaska, it's very similar. Um, prime issues are, boom, 12k. Prime issues are your dispersion. Your main gun dispersion is, like, arguably worse than uh, Alaska. It is worse than Alaska, of course. Um, your reload's also worse, I believe. And your range is worse than Alaska. So Molta, what the fuck? Everything's worse? Why? Well, it is a tier- Puerto Rico is a tier higher, so you'd expect Puerto Rico to have worse stats than Alaska, right? Okay, maybe not. So the the reason is, I believe, it's because it has an extra turret. Because Alaska has three turrets, of course. Puerto Rico has four turrets. So I guess the reason or the logic behind it was, damn, we're gonna give Puerto an extra turret? That's broken. We should r make its dispersion worse. And we should also <laughs> make the reload and range worse. Giga Chan. So that was the decision that was made, basically. It is what it is. I mean, you have to say it's a pretty Giga Chad maneuver to, to literally make a ship with worse guns a, a tier higher. I mean, that's pretty Giga Chad from Wargaming, I have to say. But I'm gonna go to this rock right here, if possible. Um, because I don't want to stay in the open, because I feel like I'm gonna die instantly here, of course. Especially to this Annapolis if he decides to use HE on me. Um, but it doesn't seem like he's using HE on me. We're gonna go dark. Um, he shot me, but I live. It's okay. Of course, as you guys know, um, I'm back from vacation, by the way. I'm recording this after I'm back from vacation, which is really nice. Um, I'm super excited to play ships again every day. I'm actually really excited. I was... I have to be honest. I really... I'm really addicted to this game. I was pretty much excited to come home the entire time. I know I'm, I'm a dog, guys. What can I say? But it's okay. So I have a radar available if we need. But I don't think we need it. 18k on the Satsuma. I should slow down here before I get dev struck. I'm gonna get dev struck because there's a shimmer right there. Should I radar the Sherman? I don't think anything can effectively shoot him really well. So no. Um, I, I mean my GK could potentially shoot him, but it's only like one salvos. Plus we probably need the radar later, I guess. I mean we have four of them, but fuck it. We'll radar, man. I feel bad for the GK if I don't radar. It will help him. 
was just thinking if we should or not. Like, it was it a smart decision on paper? I mean, I can't shoot him myself, but maybe our GK can unload a bit on the Sherman. Any damage really is helpful, actually. The radar might be okay. Torpedoes to port. Um, we're just trying to uh, unload some damage on the Satsuma. But yes, top grade is active, of course. Yeah. Look at the shells. What are we? What, they look really weird. What is that? I have like a force effect or something. Incredible. Puerto Rico action. Um... I mean, I have to be honest, guys. I've had this ship for a really long time. I paid money for this ship originally because I wasn't a CC back then. So, originally when I got Puerto Rico, I got it. I spent around 40, I think, 40 euros for it. Um, which is basically the same price as a tier 8. Uh, and to be honest with you, I, um, it was pretty much an entire waste of my money. Um, to be honest, because 40 euros, one, is a lot. Two, it's a ship I never play. Puerto Rico is a ship I got and never play. Like, I've played it around, like, 30 times in the two years I've owned it, or three years. Let's say two years. Um, or whenever, whenever it came out. I've played, like, 40 or less games in the thing total, including, like, ranked and stuff. Um, it's not exciting for me at all, like, to be honest with you. And I've owned this thing for quite a while. It just doesn't inspire me to play it at all. Like, I'd rather just play... A Yoshino or something, or a Stalingrad, a Stalingrad, like I love Stalingrad, I'd just rather play Stalingrad. Or if you have Alaska, for example, you're getting nothing out of owning a Puerto Rico at all, basically. I mean, sure, you get tier 10 instead of tier 9, but I mean, is that really that good? I mean, you don't get to fight tier 7s anymore, you get to fight, I guess, you get to fight tier 8s. Um, but, I mean, like we said, the gun characteristics are pretty much just straight up worse um, except that you, the fact that you get an extra turret, which is, I guess, the the prime reason why all the characteristics are worse. Ugh. I'm dying, I'm dying. Tsushino is annoying me, but it's okay. I am a farmable target right now. If I sit here, do I get spotted when I shoot? No. But I also can't arc over this island. There's a lot of ships here that want to kill me. I just have to be really careful. Put a hydro here. Gonna see if we can spot the Slava for our teammate. Remember, Slava has 13.7 concealment. We have 13 kilometer concealment. Mm. Boom! 6k. Um. Yeah. I mean, my highest damage game in Puerto, I, I got it a long time ago, of course, when Puerto came out. It was 312,000 damage, something like We can check the stats after this game's done, by the way, no problem. But It was like around 312k, I think. Um, I mean, it's a good damage game. The, the reason why I got a lot of damage was I was burning a lot of people with fires. Fires, I mean, the HE is actually not bad on the same... Dude, range mod Annapolis, man. We are not... We are not real in 2022, guys. We're running range mod Annapolis in 2022, man. Hello? Among Us, the video game. Alright, so... If I shoot, do I get spotted? No, perfect. <laughs> I'm molding right now. Um... We should be okay. Can I get a one-shot dev strike? No, because I suck at aiming and I get zero damage. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Jesus. What do we do, man? How are we gonna... Dude, da, 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 dude, 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 dude. Can I arc this? Yo, we're gaming. Hook me up. Put some arcs. Maybe. Um, I think pretty much I've mentioned everything about the Puerto. The HE is actually arguably really good on the Puerto Rico. Um, of course, the reload's really bad, but... 12 HE shells, 29% fire chances. Not not anything to complain about, to be honest. Um, the armor on it, as we talked about, is not horrible. I mean, Yoshino obviously has worse armor. And, uh, well, Stalingrad has better armor. But Stalingrad can get citadeled if you play it bad. Um, this, I mean, even if you play bad, you're probably going to live quite a fair amount. As you've seen this match, I mean, 
I mean, we literally just went to this rock and and, and we sat in front of us like two super ships, the Slav and a Yoshino, and we're fine. Um, of course, we sat behind the rock and tried to abuse concealment as much as possible, but I mean, we're, I mean if we're in Stalingrad, I don't think we'd be in this position, obviously, because of the arcs. I guess the arcs could be seen as a positive thing because you can sit behind the rocks. Um, that's pretty much everything I have to mention about the Puerto Rico. I really don't know what else to say. To say. I'm sure people in the comments will let me know what I didn't mention, like always, of course. Of course. Um, guys, if you can, do be nice about it. Like, sometimes you guys are really mean. Well, most, like, 60, 90, like, out of, like, let's say 90 out of 91 people are always super nice. But there's always that one man who's really mean. And I get it, I get it, I get it. You're mean and stuff, it's funny. But, like... Jokes aside, like, if you can, like, mention something, maybe I forgot, obviously I'm human, I make mistakes. Please do let us know in the comments, I'll pin the comment, if it's relatively nice, <laughs> in terms of formulation. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm spotted, perma now, this is not good, it's that Shema, I think. No, it's the Annapolis, bro, he likes me too much, he's gonna kill me, it's okay, I'll die. <sighs> what can he do, man? Bro, that's a hundred ships shooting at me, man. Yo, Satsuma's so weak, man. Satsuma's so weak, man. All right, let's walk away. Try to live, if possible. Hope they buff Satsuma. That's what all Satsuma players say. Satsuma's really bad, guys. Isn't that what they say? Copium. All right, if I shoot, do I get spotted? Holy based, I don't. All right, let's leave the map right now. Let's go to our spawn. Go behind the island. And then try to live... As much as physically possible. Um, if we do, that would be really cool. If we don't, well, that's unfortunate, I guess. I'm gonna shoot one more time. Then I can go dark legally, I believe. The issue is we don't have Kuznetsov. Because it's an American ship. And the issue, underlying issue is we're not going to be able to heal any more HP. Which means, on paper, we're dead. That's what it All means, on paper. But we'll see. Target. We'll see. Anything can happen, anything is possible in 2022. Even range mode Annapolises are possible. So anything is possible. So I go this way, we're gonna turn behind the rock, hope this carrier doesn't spot us. If he spots us, we instantly evaporate. Dissolve, one might say. We shot and he spotted us, but the Satsuma just shot also, so nothing will shoot us. Planes die, so I can go dark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can go dark now. Legally. Alright, let's go to kill the Satsuma, and then we might be able to kill the Slava or the Yoshino. And then we might be able to win the game. Might be a bit tough, but we'll see. Boom! We killed the Satsuma with our incredible fire chance. 29%, as you can see, five fires. But, of course, we've used a mix of AP and HE. So, of course, that, that's probably the reason why we only have five fires. Um, I'm panicking right now. I might not seem like it. I'm panicking because I don't know how we're going to win the game. To be honest with you, I have no I'm clueless. If you ever been on Twitch and you know the emote, I'm completely clueless. Like at the current moment in time. Boom! Double fire. He disappeared, boys. And girls, of course. I've checked my demographics. I do wish we had more girl viewers. Um, we have a... It's, I'm not even joking. I think it says 99.9% .9 are male viewers. Um, what's up, my homies? But, like, jokes aside, like... Do we need, like, 1% female viewership? No? Thoughts? And I'm, I'm not really... I don't really attract the... The female gender, I guess, in my content, I guess, and the game, I guess, also doesn't help. It's a game about naval history, not really a... Something women are too hyper-interested in. 
but I feel like we could get to that 1% in the future. Thoughts? <laughs> Let's try live here. We're gonna get spotted by the CV. I wanted the Stalingrad's broadside, that's why I'm coming here. But sadly, he's fucking like turbo angled to me, boys. I, don't, I just don't know what to do. I am just I just don't know what to do. I think we lose the game and I, I really did try here. A fair amount here, I did try. No, man! I want to gonna get a salvo in a second, man. It's okay. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go to port. All right. So we ended up getting two hundred and seventeen thousand damage, one citadel, one kill, one hundred and seventy-six shell hits, seven fires, and a spotted ribbon. Our only achievement is high caliber. If we got confederate, we would have faster reload, and I guarantee we would have carried the game with faster reload. Apart from that, we got one point two k base XP which is top of our team, we're gonna compliment the Sevastopol for doing pretty well, and we're also gonna compliment their Stalingrad and Venezia for getting super high base XP, um, but that, we only got one kill. In terms of detailed report, 140k was on the Satsuma, as you can see, split between HE, AP, and Fires, mostly from the HE, we got around 80, 90,000 from the HE, and 50,000 from the AP. We got 48k on the Slava, 15k on the Annapolis, 6k on the Stalingrad, and 5k on the Yoshino. We took ourselves 126,000 HP. Of course, one of the big hits was from the Satsuma, he only hit us 16 times, but did 57,000 damage to us. There you go. Um, on the other hand, of course, and the game lasted 15 minutes and we did lose, sadly. We got 390,000 credits, 4k XP, 500 free XP, and 5.4k commander XP. In terms of my commander build, again, I got Grease the Gears, Gun Feeder, Priority Target, Superintendent, Survivability Expert, Adrenaline Rush, Concealment Expert, and Top Grade Gunner. In terms of equipment, I'm still running main battery mod 3, concealment system mod 1, prop mod 1, aiming system mod 1, hydro search mod 1, and main armaments mod 1. And in terms of my account statistics in the Puerto Rico, they're nothing too crazy, so don't get too excited, unlike some of my others. Um, they're not too crazy, sadly, for Puerto Rico, because I don't play it that much, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so I have 54 games in it, 69% win rate with 124k average damage, and the record damage was 308,000 damage in the past, I remember it was on Tears of the Desert. Um, but yeah, that was our Puerto Rico stats, if you want to know how to get the Puerto Rico, well, we're gonna look at the Dockyard event, um, but before I do that, I'm gonna just tell you, before that, I'll keep the other part for the end, do I recommend the Puerto Rico? <coughs> um... Personally, for me, I mean 7,500 doubloons, that's around how much money? It's around 7,500 doubloons. That's around, let's say, 30, 40 euros. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just knock it in the middle. I'm gonna say 35 euros, let's say, for example. Is it worth? Um, for 35 euros, Puerto Rico? I mean, if you want an extra tier 10, sure. Personally, for me, I bought it for 40 euros back in the day and grinded out the missions. And I have to say, I really don't play the ship. I don't find it any exciting at all. But, I mean, for those people who seem to enjoy the gameplay from last game, or for example, you know, maybe I played it on stream and you saw me play it and you like the gameplay style, sure. But if you really don't like the slow cruiser play style, in terms of slow, I don't mean top speed, I mean gun reload, I mean gun reload. Um, personally, I prefer Stalingrad to this quite fairly. Um, I think you can have a lot more fun in Stalingrad, for example, than the Puerto Rico. But... Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to tell you buy it or don't buy it. It's pretty much up to you at the end of the day. But if you just enjoy this type of playstyle and you want another American tier 10 cruiser, which you can run the same build as Salem and Des Moines on and Alaska and, and Tulsa, this is totally one you could get, yes. Um, in terms of how to get it, though, I'm going to start off with the armory. Um, so basically how to get it is this is what you're going to have to do. Um, I would recommend doing this straight away um, if you're going to get it for sure because this gives you a little discount. Um, you buy this for 7,500 doubloons, it gives you six phases. Um, you're gonna go into the Dockyard Starter Pack section, which is down... I don't know where it is, actually, to be honest. Uh, what? Where is it, dude? <laughs> what is going on? So, basically, when you open the Armory, I guess you're gonna see it instantly, Dockyard Starter Packs, and you're gonna get smooth sailing. Not full ahead, 
unless you want full ahead. Smooth sailing, I would recommend because that's cheaper and you can still grind it out. That's, of course, if you're willing to grind out the entire event. If you're not, well, don't even bother. Um, so basically, what does that give us? It's going to give us six stages of the dockyard. As you can see, I've already have the six. And then when you unlock missions, and I'll show you where to unlock missions, um, you will be unlocking all of these until stage 40. Okay, so six stages you have to pay for. So normally it would get you up to like 33, I believe, for free. And then from 34 onwards, you have to pay for. That's okay. And Huron, for example, is in stage 25. As we talked about, up to stage 33 is free. So Huron is free of charge. So all you have to do is grind and play and get it for free. Link to the Huron uh, review is in the description of this video. I have a full review out on Huron. Um, in terms of the missions for the Puerto Rico grind, we're going to go into the combat mission section on the left hand side here. As you can see, combat missions. We're going to wait for it to load and we're going to go down to Puerto Rico Dockyard. And this is where you're going to be interested in for the next month or so. Why? Um, the, you see these little dockyard shipbuilding phases? You need those 33 or 34 to unlock the Puerto Rico plus your smooth sailing, okay? Um, so you need both of those. You're going to grind these missions. Grind them down. There's a lot. There's 10. Normally there's around 7, but this is tier 10. Normally they're tier 8 or tier 9. Um, but yeah, I mean, earn 255,000 Commander XP, for example, is literally like a few games with the boosters. Um, do 2.7 million damage to ships, or 2.6 million. If you average around 150,000 per game like we do, it's super easy. If you average 100,000 per game, which is super easy to do, um, it takes only around 26 games. So it's not that hard. You just have to pick a ship where you're going to farm quite a fair amount of damage. It allows you to use super ships. And there, of course, for example, my Condi, I average 220,000 damage each game. That means I would take around 10, 11, 12 games instead of 26 games, for example. Just grind out this mission. 10 games isn't too hard. Plus, you're doing this mission and you're doing the rest at the same time. So in 12 battles, joins the top 5 of your team. So this one, for example, is really good paired with this one. Because... Um, well, obviously, if you're doing a lot of damage, you're probably going to get top of the team, etc. And 12 games, so you're probably going to get these two roughly at the same time. This one you can farm at the same time with the rest. So, honestly, it's really easy to do. It's just, of course, time-consuming and time-gated. But, apart from that, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys, um, on the Puerto Rico. I hope you enjoyed the Puerto Rico video. And do let me know in the comments if I miss something or if you want to see another ship in another video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Big fan, guys.